Welcome into MMA Live Extra. My name is Todd Grisham. The UFC returns to Atlantic City with potentially a fight of the year candidate. It's UFC Fight Night 45 at the Rebel Casino. It'll be Donald Cerrone going one-on-one -on -one against Jim Miller. Cannot wait for that bout. For more on it, let's turn now to Brett Okamoto, who joins us from Las Vegas, Nevada. Brett, what was your reaction when you first heard about this showdown? Well, I think it's a really fun fight, first and foremost. It's a, it's, a, it's a competitive fight and an important fight at 155 pounds. But really, when you get Donald Cerrone, you get Jim Miller in the cage, you're not necessarily always thinking about rankings. You're thinking about offense. You're thinking about fireworks. That's what you get with these guys. And one thing about these guys is they come in shape. So even when they brawl, it doesn't really deteriorate into this heavyweight-looking slugfest. You still get a high level of mixed martial arts. It should be a good main event. It'll take place midweek. How about that? Wednesday, July 16th. This will be Cowboy Cerrone's third fight in 2014 with first round stoppage wins in his first two bouts. Uh, what do you think he needs to do to keep this streak going? You know what? Just a little bit of defense would, would be nice to see from Donald <laughs> Cerrone. Uh, you know, I don't think this guy even knows what a game plan is even, anymore, and that's fine. You know, he comes out and he looks to turn it into a fight. He doesn't want to play chess out there. He wants to get into a fight with his opponent. He's facing a guy, though, in Jim Miller that, that if Miller stuns him, you know, Miller can jump on his back. He can get in top position. And once Miller does that, he's a very dangerous guy. You don't want to be in those positions with him. Cerrone, is, he, it seems like in his last few fights, he doesn't get going until he gets hit, which is kind of fun and, and it's great to talk about. But it's not a strategy you want once you start consistently fighting top 10 guys. You want to be ready to go. You don't want to have to wake up from a big right hand to the chin. A little bit of defense is going to be key here for Donald Cerrone. Donald Cerrone's threatened retirement after his next loss, but he keeps winning, so he just keeps on fighting. This will be his third fight of 2014. As for Miller, two straight wins by submission. What a shock. He's one of the best submission artists in the game. What are his keys to victory? Well, I'll tell you what, I don't want to throw water on a fight that we're <laughs> hoping is going to be a firefight, but also a little bit of defense from Jim Miller. You know, it, it dictate the range that this fight is fought at. Stay on the outside. You want to stay away from Donald Cerrone's kicks and then move, move in on the inside. A lot of the strikes that Jim Miller lands on his feet come from the inside. He has to make up for that size disadvantage. Uh, and when he gets in close, then he can work on takedowns, which is where he wants the fight, I got to believe. Donald Cerrone, again, a, a guy who can be easier to hit, uh, a tough guy to take down. But if Miller can get, can get him on the floor, like you mentioned, two submission victories in his last two fights, that's where Miller wants the fight if he can get it there. It'll be a midweek, midsummer showdown. Jim Miller, Donald Cerrone, UFC Fight Night 45. Brett, we appreciate your time. That'll do it for this edition of MMA Live Extra. For the latest on that card, keep it right here to ESPN.com. Until next time, I'm Todd Grisham. Keep fighting.